and welcome to the channel. Today we are cooking lunch because my mom wants me to make chicken and I was like, why not do it together, you know? So yeah, this is just the way I make chicken. People have different recipes, although we are African, so technically most of the time we believe in just throwing things in the spurrier. Like if you even mention the word recipe in front of my mom or my grandmother, she's Luya, just so you know. Go go and talk to me a recipe. A recipe. <laughs> How do you cook pika? So yeah, <laughs> I don't have a recipe in this case. I'm just going to put in an assortment of stuff that I like as I make lunch, and you can just be here and watch and help. And yeah, first of all, welcome to a new setting that isn't my room. So the first thing I'm putting in is this olive oil because my mom likes this olive oil. Yeah, literally in our house we drink with different, we eat with different mafutas. But my mom's like, you know, health, blood sugar. But she's also like, if you don't like the way it tastes, it's okay, you can have your own. So yeah. I'm putting in onions. Put in quite a lot because my mother loves onions. I love the onions. show you if you want to see. Ooh, onions. Onions. Ha. Okay, so now there you go. We put in the spices. Yes. I like to put the spices in. <laughs> it was not a good taste much for myself. I like to put the spices in when that onion stage because but that's how you do it like professionally. I'm not putting in that much salt. Because my mom don't like that much salt and as a jungle they are bad guys. So I'm putting some salt, we're going to put in some black pepper because Assis loves her black pepper. Assis is me, not my mother. It's a lot of food, so if you feel like I'm putting a lot of spices, like do I really there's a reason. Yeah. Next we're going to put in some chili because why not? I mean, like spices in this household, but not too much, just a little bit. I wish I had the natural raw chili, but we don't, and I don't feel like going to the market right now. So, yes, recognize this Simba Billy, the OG. Duh. All your mothers are OGs, but I'm not saying your mom is in the OG, but yeah, we recognize it. Simba Billy is curry powder, so we put in. A good helping of that, and first of all, let's stir it a little bit so that it stirs a little bit. Yes, 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 yes. Now we can add our tomato so that. Okay. It's you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Don't worry. It's needed into my life. This entire thing was full of tomatoes. I put them all in because they key to a sauce, not a soup. I don't like soups. Soup kwamu ni maji, sauce kwamu ni like thick goodness. And on this channel, we know I like all things thick. Ah, you can see like the tomatoes are almost double the other. I'm sorry if the view isn't that pretty. It's honestly because like I record with myself in camera so that I'm sure most stuff that I'm trying to do is on frame, in frame, because I don't have a real thing there. I record on my Samsung, you know. Add a little bit of oil to help everything get on. Oh, there we go. Oily goodness. I don't like olive oil, personally. It has a different, like, it has a weird taste, like, you can taste it. Come as well, normal vegetable oil, you can taste it. I feel like if you are into intuitive oils, a better idea to use would be like coconut oil, but I haven't tried that out yet. But anyone who knows me in real life knows I like coconut oil. This is mixed spices. Mm, it's really nice spices. Oh. Dumped a bunch of it in there. Why didn't I marinate this beforehand? Because I didn't want to touch raw chicken. 
Does that make it me baby? Yes, it does. Also, I wasn't going to put it in the oven. I just wanted to make it like a stew. Because it's also more or less the same way. This is some water that I boiled beforehand. It's still semi-warm. I just want to help the tomato start boiling down into a nice paste. Yes. Oh, I was telling you. Uh, I wanted to make it stew-like. Because this is the way I make my meat on a, on a normal basis. We have roikos here, but I don't add them right now because I like to add them later when we're having a nice castew coming along. And last but not least, some turmeric. Why? Because my mother likes turmeric and if I don't put it in, I feel like she'll notice. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Do you guys make your cuckoo at home red or yellow? Make it red or yellow? Like, tell me the comments down below. And remember when I asked my boyfriend that question, he was like, Kuna kukunya yellow. And I was like, Yeah, like if your mom or your shosho cooks with Simba baby, you know, kukunya yellow ni gani. Like, you know. So far, this is what we have. Can you see it? Yes, that too. Now, I'm going to add. The chicken. The chicken was in another soup here because it was like frozen. There we go. It was frozen and I want it to thaw, so I have put it in like margin water. It's not like such a bad I put it in like margin water to reduce the heat a little bit. So now that I put the chicken in the paste, I'm just going to take that around and cover it all in all this. Majestic goodness. Would you like to see? Of course you would. I will show you after I'm done covering it with sauce. So got this nice sauce. We could oh Lord, it looks good already. Not a couple of jams I could even eat. So yeah, this is what we have so far. Now I have to chungule right next to Sufria to know if you guys can see. This is what we are doing. You can see I put in our chicken. Ew! Duh! Ew! Lord, Ivy, what's wrong with me? Ah, I don't normally sneeze this much. It's not normal. Don't worry. I was told you should sneeze in your like here, like in your arm. What's it an armpit? What, is, what, what do you call this part of your body? Your pit elbow. I don't know what it's called, but I sneeze in my there. <laughs> my answer is you should sneeze there because it's more hygienic. Wow, now I'm a vlogger. I'm a vlogger. Like I'm vlogging as I cook. Wow. My mother doesn't work. So yeah, beans and chicken. Oh, look how it looks nice. You can see the nyanyas already started to disintegrate nicely, and the heat is on low. So you guys go back here because I want to koroga koroga to logo. Come on, koroga festival. It's a bad joke, right? No, leave. We don't want you here. <laughs> yes. You guys love cooking. I love cooking. Focus on me, moi, on Ivy. Close the stove. Focus, focus, focus on Ivy. Huh? But now you can see the shooter. Wow, wow. Can I just be the center of attention for one, for one? What kind of language do you do? I just broke something in my mother's house. Happy then. Like to cook. I love cooking it's so fun. I like it. It makes me feel like as if I'm at peace when I'm cooking. Now see that woman go. I need pika here. I need to pika money. I need to just on the whole cooking. I feel like cooking is hot. You see already. Like look how that looks. So now I want us to add in the hot water just because I want it to boil down. So the problem with doing a stew like this is like the reason why we yes I flooded the pot don't worry <laughs> you will understand why in a few I'm explaining you know the pot is flooded okay let me koroga koroga it a little bit and I'll explain to you why I just did all that I'm supposed to be looking at you and 
enjoy the light of it. Now you can kind of see. I just squat. See, so we normally boil meat before we fry it. We boil it so that one, you make sure it's tender, and two, you make sure it's even done. So, you don't want to do it even done, like unless you thin strips, like you're doing stir fry or something. So, what I like to do is I fry everything first so that they ingana and mix nicely. Like so you've seen that nice thick paste. Because for me the end goal is at the end we won't have soup because this in my opinion is what is called soup. We won't have soup but we'll have a paste like a thick sauce. I call it sauce. I call it sauce. <laughs> yeah. The water is going to boil. Boil and as it's boiling the chicken itself will eva. So Jafunika because um, my reasoning is as the water boils it's going to evaporate so slowly slowly magic and reduce reduce how the the sauce goes back to being a sauce sauce like a nice thick sauce it's equal magic magic cooking for me is like an art form expression i don't like people in the kitchen with me when i'm cooking if you're in the kitchen to watch fine if you're in the kitchen because we have agreed we're cooking together fine if you're in the kitchen because you want to start Ivy, that's not how you do that Ivy, that's not hey, go in don't tell me what to do i didn't ask you how like that unless you're my mom or my grandmother or any of my aunts because don't go away come here teach me so you have this family secret show me <laughs> yeah but otherwise go away unless i invite you in the kitchen go away mm. oh you you're invited you don't go away stay here stay keep watching <sighs> So now this will boil and boil and boil. Now at the boiling stage, you guys go back there. At the boiling stage is where we add zanya. Why? Because these are like leaves and I feel like this is like tea. So it's now when the danya will infuse it like nicely. It will boil and it's like okay. And then what did you guys do for Valentine's? I was starting to record a video for you guys. I was supposed to finish it in my aunt's couch to pick me up from school, but I didn't. Why? Things happen. The story time. Should I continue filming? It was a really stupid story. This is me. As usual, what's new? <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'll post that for you guys if you want to see. What do you guys think about carrots? I hate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate food with cooked carrots in it. Need a lot of stuff. One needs salt, more salt. That's why in the beginning I didn't put that much salt. Because you know with salt, there's always you can always add more. Like it's it's allowed. Skip by it. it's allowed to add salt. You can always fix it. Oh, also, I hate people who suck on the cooking stick. Don't do that. Can you imagine if you went to a hotel, they cook, they suck on the cooking stick to taste if it's like tastes good, then they stick it back in your food. Don't do that. <laughs> the reason I, I don't do that is because in high school, <laughs> in high school, I was doing home science. Our teacher was my and I love you, love you, then you had the hell out of me and made me cry, and then you gave me my face and cut me this. Anyway. In high school, she used to get so pissed at us giving practicals. Like, if she sees you sucking on the spoon, hey, the woman had no chills. She'll, I wish I in front of everyone. You should have worn an apron. You should have worn my home science apron that I made in school. See, dear, wear it. Let me leave this boiling and come back and wear it. When you see me again, I'll be wearing my apron. So, I'm back. I'm back. This is my apron. <laughs> I've worn this thing in years. You see the stain on it. <laughs> this is a stain that I got during my KCS. It won't be that dengu na suju. It won't be dengu apa na yuko ay kipe kanini. Suju na suju pumpkin soup. Yeah, it was so gross. Pumpkin soup with suju in boga. Let me show you my apron. The first let me show you. I was like literally wearing heels so that I could like tuck it as well on the body. That's how short I am. So yeah, this is my high school apron we made for home side. With the little hair that you always had to cook with this and white gomas. If you had home science students in your school, you know. I don't know what sorcery this is. I was thinking that this would fit my waist. Like what? This thing. 
I remember the pain. If you did on science in, I will not mention the school, but you know, because I don't know if I'll get sued, but you know. If you, hey, hey, hmm, you are in my school, you know, the pain of embroidery stitches, the pain of these stitches, it's not correct. Start again. The pain of making this thing with a pencil or a CG, a tube of a CG, what do you mean? Yeah. And made a little pocket, has a little pocket, with a pocket. So yeah, it's my ego. <laughs> Without the construction nearly made me cry. Okay, it made everyone cry, not the only one. Except for the special chosen few, you know? Mm. Now it's a proper home science <laughs> session. Okay. Kuku is going along well, we reduce the heat a little bit so that I can have more time to add stuff to it. Now it's just hot. Perfect. Salt is better. Perfect locals. Don't need to add any more. Yeah. Salt is just right. Now is the time. Let me tell you guys that. Great. Just because it says Royco chicken doesn't mean you only have to use it for chicken. So you can add it to your what do you call this thing? You can add it to your yes, I know I've stuck the spoon in everything. I washed my hands before this, don't judge me, it's clean. <laughs> you can add it to so many things. I can add it to your skooma. You can add it to if you add it to means meat. Mm -hmm. Don't sleep on Royco Yakuku. Yeah, if you live like off campus in a bed sitter, they have these sachets that are like 30 bob. Those are the ones I have at my house. I bought I bought the chicken one last year, but I have been using it for quite some time. Oh, we miss flashy Kanichuma. <laughs> wow, I So yes. Ooh, ooh. This is no, do I lift the chicken up or I lift it? The camera before it goes like a video. This the northern messy chicken <laughs> kitchen. Wow. This is what I meant by kuku yellow ama kuku red. Yani vitu muna to me angas na fire kuku then you kai yellow ama red. Kwa tu kwanga kuku yellow yellow. Chaka chakula kwa kai red red. Um I know tomato paste is the main thing for that. What else? What else? There's something else I put last time. There's a specific, there's a, there's a which mix to me, was it? There's a spice. I have to do shopping with spices in this house because my mom forget. There's a specific spice that makes it turn that nice, beautiful, like red color. It was really nice. You can also use the leaves, like, you know, the leaves. These aren't ground, they're like leaves, leaves. Like, they're like. Let me show you. For those of you who don't know what they look like. See, like they're like these leaves, leaves. I don't like to add them at the beginning because they're dry leaves. I would rather add them like towards the end. I also don't like mixing them too much because I feel like we need, what do you call this thing? I feel like <laughs> some of spice. So, yeah. I use it, yes, but not when I want my food to have a very African taste. It sounds so weird, but manielewa. I'm going to visit in a big hotel there. Come on, Mama, what are we doing? I'm just going to have food. I'm going to have a seat. 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 The reason I keep tasting, tasting is to make sure I don't over flavor it. Oh, I thought that was my mother's just a TV. Because if you over overdo it, like if you overdo it with the spices, you risk your food that it's starting to taste powdery. Like unganga, you know, spices are powders. I like wooden cooking pots. I make this one of my favorite pots. I love this cooking, like the, the wooden ones. I love them. Like if I could just have an assortment of them, I tell you, I want to do shopping for my house. It's just that I have a consider. So even if I do shopping for my future house, where will all that stuff fit? I have like three shelves under the sink. So that's why yeah, I can't say. Listen, that's the stock or fridge. Which doesn't make sense. I have a fridge and my fridge is empty. What's wrong with me? 
to use it. Like, didn't have a fridge. I just said, "Let me have a fridge. Let me have a fridge. Let me have a fridge." Okay, there we go. You can already see the soup is less watery. Can you tell? But it will get thick. With meat, you'll see this the, the thickness coming out better. I feel like chicken is. You have to finesse your chicken. Is, finesse her. You caress her. You. <laughs> So yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Something I want to add. It tastes good, but there's something that's missing. First of all, oh, I normally when I start, I should have said this at the beginning. Okay. When I start, I have my spices laid out here. Let's quest just because we have a spice cabinet up here and I don't want to keep on being like confused, confused. So let me put this back because I already know what I've put enough of and what I don't need more of. But I know for sure I want to add more chili and a little bit more... No salt, no salt. The salt is perfect. I need chili and black pepper. That's what I want to add a bit more of. I've never tried playing with cardamoms in chicken because, again, chicken needs to be finessed and caressed. And I don't feel like starting that now. <laughs> like playing with cardamoms. So, I like cardamoms in my coffee. I learned that from my bebe. Give it a kiss. Because I want to feel that sting and Ice of black pepper. Black pepper is also one of these things. If you put too much on, like, all the sweet taste is too much. So I put in some black pepper. Ah, yes, the spiciness. I love to smell it when I'm cooking. Oh, wow, this is amazing. Well, this video is even full of stuff up to some awkward angle. <laughs> My mom likes her food spicy, so I know she can handle it. It's me, I'm worried about it. Because this time I was like, mm, uh uh, see, I can handle spicy food. Then I had chilies, chilies, like proper chilies. Then I just, my lord, it was too hot. It was delicious, it was too hot. But I did it. It was amazing. But first of all, it's not too increase the heat so that it boils nicely. And it spreads everywhere. I'll give you an aerial view in a moment so that you can see how much the water levels have reduced. Because you guys remember, we put almost a whole jug of hot water into this. Yes, boil, bubble for me. <laughs> Love to cook. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Good, I didn't even test it still. Na kumuka hizo levels ili kuanga hapo juu ya maji so ni reduce kwa kiasi hiki si nani maji ime like reduce ni maji ya kidogo there was a steam from the pot da you down da na kwa the storm from the pot yeah just fogging the camera up fogging up the camera oh for those of you who are interested you want to see my stand this is normally what my phone is resting on that's why I keep on making so many like fits. Like I keep fits. this is what my phone is just on. Uh, propped on top of various other stable things underneath. <laughs> yeah, that's what I use for my stand. up close so you can appreciate the drip of the sauce. Camera picking this up. I do not want I said you need to understand the beauty of the sauce. Na high float. Not of them keep it like singing like singing I'm keeping like like what I'm keeping. You are cute. <laughs> you know the way when someone like pickers food and then it has like massive floating pools of oil. Na sisi tumepoa vitu zikasettle. 
it just on its own has massive floating pools of oil that i don't like that it's yeah i don't like oil too much oil as you just look at this nice thick paste i feel like i can even leave it here like it's good but i'll let it boil a little bit longer just because you know it's chicken the chicken does cook faster than meat when it comes like the boiling method let me call my mom yeah she is why do you say hi to the people hi yes she's back she doesn't know who she's talking to but yeah. you and i know <laughs> so yes it's finished see what's the gravy looks nice and thick see i told you there's a difference between soup and maggi and sauce no it's really nice so this is the sauce and i like the i like the the color kukuya yellow you are here kukuya yellow no it's very rich And that is the end of the video of cooking with Ivy. Goodbye. Mommy say bye. Bye. Let's see how it is. This is a nice food. I'm looking quite looking forward to eating it.